Today we're going to talk a little bit about chainsaw safety. These are awesome tools, guys, and you can do a heck of a lot with a chainsaw. But I hear and see horror stories often, and I don't ever want to use scare tactics to sell anything, but I want to make people aware of some of the safety uh, risks that we have with the chainsaw and some of the safety equipment, the PPE equipment tools that we have to protect you. So chainsaws, all of them have a brake on them. So right now, as you can see, the chain is free spinning. When I click that lever forward, the chain is stopped. Now, if a chainsaw is running, I'm never gonna do that. Let me point that out first. But the purpose of the brake is, is when I am cutting, and if I'm cutting with the tip of the bar here, there's quite the likelihood that I could get kickback. So if I'm cutting with the tip of the bar and not doing it properly, that chainsaw could kick back. And guess what? It ain't gonna happen that fast. It's gonna happen like that. Did you hear that break? A chain stopped immediately. I've had one experience where I've had a chainsaw kick back on me, and I sat down for about 10 or 15 minutes after that and thought about life for a little bit and cleaned my pants out. So kickback is, is definitely possible. When, when that happens or what causes that is when I'm cutting with the tip of the bar and it pinches or catches on another branch behind it. So always be aware of what you're cutting and what's beyond what you're cutting. Use the brake, know about the brake, know about your surroundings when you're cutting. Whenever I'm carrying a chainsaw and it's idling, I always engage the brake. So if I'm moving from a cut over here and I'm walking over here, I'm gonna make sure I have that brake on. But let's back up. We just got into brakes and all that stuff. We didn't even talk about how to start a chainsaw, right? And how to be safe there. Well, the first thing is, is I need to make sure that I'm outfitted, right? I've got the right stuff on. Eyes, very important. We always want to protect our eyes. Legs, let me tell you a little story. In the, the year 2019, one weekend, I got two pictures sent to me from different buddies, different friends that have been cutting wood for years, know how to run a chainsaw very well. Both of them, had pretty massive cuts on their legs from cutting wood with a chainsaw. Both of them did not have a pair of chaps. So I highly recommend, not only do I highly recommend, I, I almost make it mandatory, you should have chaps, right? So chaps, every time I'm gonna go out and run a chainsaw, I want chaps. And they simply clip on around your waist and your legs. They're fairly adjustable in, uh, in size, and then you can get different lengths. But really, I'm trying to protect my shins and the fronts of my legs. There's several different layers of chaps that, that you can get. There's six layer and there's nine layer, but let me explain what those layers are. If you see this white stuff, there's six layers of this quilt batting. And as soon as a chain were to nick this outer protective layer, this stuff just shreds. You see that? How it just shreds. And that fiber will stop a chain almost immediately. Now more than likely, you'll still end up with a small cut, but you will not end up with a gruesome uh, emergency room visit that could be damaging. So chaps, six layer, nine layer, based on the size of the chainsaw. Stop in at Carl's and we'll help you get the right chaps for your chainsaw. Okay, so I've got my chaps on, I've got my my eye protection. And if I'm doing any cutting that's gonna be above my head, I should always have a helmet and then always ear protection, okay? So here is my steel helmet and I'm not gonna lock them both down or I won't be able to hear me talking. So here's my steel helmet. I've got my eye protection, I got my chaps. Starting a chainsaw, always engage the brake prior to trying to start this chainsaw. And what's the old school way, everybody? I, I probably didn't put the brake on and I just turned it on and I did this. What's often referred to as a drop start. Not a safe way to start a chainsaw. I'm in no control of the saw at that point in time. So there's two recommended ways to start a chainsaw. One is, is simply the leg lock like this, where I'm holding the handle with my right hand 
and the handle is between the rear handles between my legs and I pull like that. The other is to put it down on the ground, put my foot through here, hold down and and start it that way. Okay? So safe starting is a big thing. Safety material, safety wear is even more so important. So chaps, helmet, earmuffs, safety glasses. I covered some of the scary stuff of chainsaws, right? But let's be honest, these are awesome tools that are useful. You can do all kinds of good things with the chainsaw, and be productive. They aren't all bad. Just make sure you're outfitted with the proper safety stuff and understand how to operate this machine correctly. Stop into Carl's today and we'll help get you all set up.